Hey YouTubers, it's Shalita returning. So um, I've been thinking about a few things and I actually talked with my husband. Um, he's not really a camera person, um, but I was just kind of curious about how a diastasis recti um, umbilical cord hernias impact um, your significant other. You know what I mean? It's something to think about. It's serious. I know that if it is impacting um, me mentally, emotionally, um, physically, um, and if in our home we are one, it's got to impact him, or so I thought, right? So I wanted to talk to him about it and just try to get an idea um, from his perspective. Um, so let's just say that um, it's not cute. It doesn't look good. Um, you know, you've seen my stomach. I've shared it in the previous posts. Um, but what I think makes it difficult is you don't want to be seen. Um, some women don't care. Some women, um, you know, they don't care how it looks or what have you. But then there are a few like myself um, and probably more than a few um, that they don't they don't find it attractive it doesn't feel good they um feel some type of way about it and so therefore it just makes you not it really makes you self-conscious you know um in short um you know there are certain things that I used to be able to wear and rock and look good and now I'm like I wouldn't get caught dead putting that thing on me <laughs> because I'll be a laughing stock to my husband. Now, there have been there was a time and 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 I appreciate him for being very um supportive through this process. Um I know he's tired of me talking about it. I know he's ready for me to have this surgery and just be done. He has clearly said, "I pray that you get the results you're looking for and we can just move forward from this process because I've talked about it so much because it's bothered me so much. Um, but there was a time where, you know, I could wear anything um, that I wanted. There was a time where I thought I had a pouch. Girlfriend did not have a pouch. I had no pouch. I'd give anything to have what I thought was a pouch back in the day. Um, now I got a whole monstrosity is what it feels like to me. Um, when I hug him, it put like you can feel it. I can feel it. I'm sure he can feel it. It's like it feels like a knot, like a tough knot. Um, because, you know, just even through your clothes, like look, even through your clothes. So you look pregnant, right? You can push it in. Even when I suck in, you still see it right here. Um, this is not sucking in and then it looks pregnant, you know, and then people can have the audacity to ask you like, oh, how far along? Oh, didn't you just have a baby? I'm not pregnant. Um, but it's uncomfortable. So he doesn't care about it. It doesn't bother him. Um, so ladies, there are some men that are not going to be phased by it. They're not going to be bothered by it. I would um, try to hide it, you know, um, in the bedroom. I don't want him to see me because um, I thought immediately he would get turned off. Or I thought about how there's so many other flyer women with, you know, flyer bodies. Um, and this is just me being transparent. You know, it really makes you self-conscious self-conscious to see and to have this um this condition you know real talk so I would try to hide it there would be some things I wouldn't want to wear um a lot of people don't didn't even know before all these you know posts that I have diastasis or abdominal separation um that's another thing you know what way uh, term that's used um because I wear my clothes so well and so I do good with that but then when it hits the summertime, when it's that maxi dress season, I can't wear no maxi dress. I can't wear no cotton picking maxi dress. I'll be glad when I can. This summer, I can wear a maxi dress, but I haven't been able to. Um, there's something, there's certain tops that are very fitting that um, I can wear them if I want someone to ask me or if I want someone to think I'm pregnant. 
but I couldn't wear them. And then, you know, in the bedroom, there are right. certain things mm -hmm. that, you know, um, you don't, you just don't feel comfortable wearing. Um, you don't, you may not even care for your own birthday suit, you know, with the, with diastasis, um, or even with a hernia, an umbilical cord hernia, especially with both, you know, or at least in my case. Um, but he's told me, you know, Shalita, you've had, you, you, you know, you carried my sons, you gave birth to my sons, it's whatever. Um, so I don't do this surgery for him, right? I do this surgery for me, um, because I want to feel better about me. Um, I want to feel good in my skin. I want to feel feminine. I want to wear clothes the way I want to wear them. I ain't trying to walk around here half naked. Like, that's not the, um, at least not in the streets. I'm not trying to do that, right? But I do want to be able to wear clothes that I feel comfortable in and that I feel attractive in to me. That's it. If you want to get your diastasis and your um, hernia, umbilical cord hernia repaired for your man, that's going to be, or if it's if it's got a lot to do with you getting it you know, repaired for your significant other, that's going to be the wrong reason to do it. Um, because at the end of the day, there's always going to be someone flyer than you, you know, and, and that's just, it's okay. Um, so don't do it for them. Do it for you. I would say if that's, that's one of probably one of my biggest recommendations, do it because you want to feel better with you, with yourself. Um, men are very much visual creatures. And I remember my dad telling me, um, and it was sound advice you know, you want to be your man's eye candy. And I do. I want to be my husband's eye candy. Just not first. You know, first I want this for me. Um, but you have to, you, you do think about how there's eye candy out there, you know. And so what I will say is you have to stay um, eating clean. That can be a difficult thing um, with diastasis. Um, but you do have to stay eating clean in uh, before your surgery and and very much so afterwards especially because i hear that bloating can be an issue uh, so that's a big thing and then also um you know you can't we can't stop the working out after you know um i've noticed a lot of people's videos where they um you know they showed two years later three years later and like oh i gained some weight back Okay, we got to try not to do that, you know. So that those videos that I saw of those women have given me motivation to make sure I stay in, you know. I don't go to the gym. I, I I've never been a gym person. I'm not gonna be right. Um, but I do um like to you know work out in my living room. Like I um I like to do yoga. Um, uh, yoga with Adrian on YouTube. That's a good one. Um, I'm not into yoga spirituality. Um, because, um, so some of the things that they say, like, uh, you know, when they're finishing a yoga pose or naming it, I'm saying in the blood of Jesus or to God be the glory or hallelujah. Like I'm, I'm putting my own thing in there, but the stretches that she does are amazing. Um, and then, um, the Mutu system is great for breathing exercises, but I won't say that it worked for me. And, and they've even said that, you know, all results vary and are not guaranteed. So it is what it is, but I tried it, right? Um, the Brittany Babe 21 day challenge, she was good. I didn't know that I could sweat so cotton picking much, but she's really good, you know, um, at, at that program. So I will most definitely um, do that again. So I'm going to ease back into the yoga, um, the stretching, I like to call it, and then back into a, um, I'm going to wait for her next 21 day challenge and then start up with the Brittany Babe 21 day challenge because she's really good. Um, and then um, it's them hit days though. They're <laughs> those, they, uh, they do something to you, but, but the results come. And then just stay eating clean um, with the Nutrisystem. The app, the Numi app was really good for me. Um, so I'll continue to use that. But I really just wanted to pop in here because I'm very grateful to have a husband who's been supportive through this process, who's tired of hearing about this process, but nonetheless has been very supportive um, and has um, encouraged me to really make sure I'm doing everything the right way leading up to the surgery so that I can have um, even better and great results long after. So 
I just wanted to stop by and, and tell you all that, that, you know, even though these may be insecurities that we're dealing with with having this condition, that's just what they are. We need to try to um, combat them as best as we can by working out, eating clean as possible, and as often as possible, drinking a lot of water. That does help. I've noticed that, you know, it not only does the water keep you regular, but it just keeps you flush, you flushed out even in your whole system. Um and that was very helpful. And then getting the tummy tuck and just making sure that it's an investment into our lives, um, mentally, um, physically, emotionally. And so nurturing that beyond the tummy tuck. So do your does your spouse care about your diastasis? Probably not to the extent that you do. Um, but that's okay if you're if it if it bothers you. You know, let's just do what we gotta do. All right, well, I just wanted to drop through and just kind of give that word because it had been on my mind. And um, don't forget to subscribe below. I want to make sure that you all are, you know, hearing about the newest videos that are coming out. I'm so, so, so excited because um, I've actually gotten some content from, uh, you know, the ladies that I had mentioned that I'll be interviewing in the coming weeks. So keep a lookout for that. So definitely subscribe. If you see this on Facebook, share it, share it, share it. Let's get the word out about diastasis recti. Let's get the word out about abdominal separation, umbilical cord hernias, um, and how they impact us and how we can beat them. Whether it be 100% natural or whether it does have to be um, with a tummy tuck. Either way is okay. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Take care and be blessed.